Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. Um, I don't really have a lesson, but you know, I was meditating and I was watching Elder Apostle Rumlob show that he did this morning, you know, let every man, you know, meaning let every man be persuaded in his own mind. And, um, you know, I just want to land back uh, off the video because it's the spirit, you know, because in this truth, you truly have to be persuaded in your own mind. And, that, and I'm not saying anything different than the apostle said because he, you know, he spoke wisdom and balance in that show. You know, he spoke and covered like damn near everything, you know, and um, you have to be fully persuaded in your own mind to, um, to to be in this work, you know, to believe. And yeah, we, we always preach the work, the work, the work, because the work have to be done. That's what, you know, men, uh, uh, you know, start to lack over time, you know, is in the, the love of doing the work of the Lord. But um. But, you know, it's, it's truly all about faith, you know, and, and, and while you're doing the work, you know, you don't even realize how much faith you retain since the first time you came in this truth, you know, and since the first time you started to uh, believe in the Lord, you know, and to accept the Lord, you know, so, you know, like the apostle's title was, let every man, let every man be persuaded in his own mind, you know, you know, like he said, um, no man could, uh, you know, we could walk, you know, you could give you the glass of, but hypothetically, you know, a brother could give you a glass of water to drink, but he can't make you drink it. You know, you can ask for the water because certain people, they do ask. So you pour them a glass of water. All right. And, and you hand it over to them to drink, but then they never drink it. You know, or they might just take a little sip at it and then they put the whole glass of water down, you know, because as the apostle was saying too, that I picked up, you know, is that, you know, it, it has to be of the Lord for them to receive it, you know, it has to be of the Lord for them to receive that glass, you know, but, um, I just want to start off with a quick scripture. This is Hebrews chapter six. And, um, I start at nine. It says, but that which, excuse me, but beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation though we thus speak so you know it's a it's a it's a must that we accompany the things that retain salvation you know that's why the apocrypha tells you you know um don't worry how the ungodly is punished but worry how the godly is, is, is saved roughly paraphrasing because being in this truth you have to truly accompany around you and, and things that you do around salvation because any little thing outside of that is a strong, a stronghold, you know? You put your heart into something and you lose the spirit. But if you always constantly keep the spirit, which is the Holy Spirit, Rakakwadash, Spirit Holy, Holy Spirit, all right, around you in accompanying salvation, you have no problem being in the spirit, you know? That's why it's a, it's a must that we constantly watch, you know, constantly work, you know, and, and being in this work. You know, what the scriptures say about, um, I think that's Revelations, uh, blessed he who keepeth his garment, you know, who keepeth this truth and push this truth. You know, it's one thing about being in the truth, but, you know, it's another thing about standing the truth and, and doing the works. So every man has to be persuaded, you know, and that's the, that's how you move further in this truth when it comes to uh, growing on levels, you know, shit, levels could be. You know, whatever the what type of level the Lord uh, uh, put upon you, you know, the first level when you come in in this truth is battling your flesh. You know, stop doing the things that you desire, but start doing the things that pleases you. How about Shimmy How was shot? You know, and then after a while, you know, you get in the routine of things, and next thing you know, you know, you hey, the Lord is, is formulating and you know, removing things and, and, and placing you in a certain position 
you know, a certain situation or a certain uh, way to go. As the scriptures say, he um, guided the steps of a righteous man, you know. And little do you know, you don't have your, you don't have the niggas around you, you know. You don't got that that evil woman around you, you know. And then you find yourself. The Lord said, "He that loses his uh, he that loses his life shall find his life." All right, roughly paraphrasing. All right, he that loses his life. Uh, in this world, but find if it's life for Yahweh Shai, you know, then the Lord guides your steps. And then, little do you know, when you start thinking, you know, uh, you know, examining yourself, because that's the constant thing we must do, is examine ourselves. <clears throat> when you start doing that, you realize that, you know, er you, everything about you is accompanying salvation. You know, let me read that again. It says, but beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation, though we thus speak. So everything that we do is accompanying salvation, man. You know, everything. You know, when we watching videos, man, we could be watching a movie and we be picking out the gems and, and, the, and the edifying uh, points of the movie that pertain to the scriptures and, you know, what the plans of the elites are, you know, because they show you in their movies uh, what, what, what they desire, you know. That's why we watch what they call it prophetic movies. Brothers be into it, you know? Hey, you watching an interview. You might be watching a, uh, a certain person, a celebrity being interviewed. You know, you, you end up, uh, uh, you end up um, uh, picking out the things that pertain to the scriptures, you know, of this person. You might, you might catch a, uh, you might learn something, you know, or you know, you might see that this person is wicked, you know, and you can just filter the scriptures within that, you know, like, look at this guy. Yeah, he one of those guys, you know, but um, everything has to be accompanied to salvation. And um, matter of fact, like I said, I don't have a lesson, but um, let me uh, get a preset. This is Revelation chapter 16 and 15. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blesses he that w that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. All right. And um, a brother, a brother that keepeth his garment, which is this word, and constantly in the work, you know, doing the things that the Lord delight, you know, you won't see his shame. All right, because he'd be part of that that number, which is the elect, those the, those that are gonna be delivered on this side, you know, that's not gonna see corruption. You know, their body's gonna be um, uncorruptible. They're gonna be changed. So, but the two thirds, you know, they're gonna see corruption. All right, because it's about company shout salvation. You know, company salvation. It says, behold. I come as a thief, blessed if he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. At least he walk naked and they see his shame. You know, walking naked is uh, not being persuaded in your own mind. You know, not being persuaded at all. Because uh, you got other shit going on in your head or other things you want to do because you find it desirable. But the real important ingredient and the real important matter of the point of this thing is is uh, being in the spirit of the Lord, you know? And uh, you can you can fool man, but you can't fool your how about Shimmy how shy. Because the Lord is there to see everything and watch everything that you do. You know, he even know things you do before you even do it, you know? But um, this is gonna be a short lesson. I'm not gonna drag it out. Uh, the Lord ain't allowing the scriptures to rain, precepts to pop up, but you know, uh, you know, I know next time he will. Uh, Baba Kushai, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. But uh, with that, I hope you guys were edified. Like I said, I didn't have a lesson. I was watching Elder Apostle uh, Rumlop lesson uh, early uh, before this show. And uh, he did a beautiful lesson, which is of wisdom. And I advise brothers go watch that if you haven't watched it. And the title is uh, Let Every Man. You know, meaning let every man be persuaded in his own mind. 
you know, because it's all about being persuaded. What being persuaded in what? The truth, you know, not not in lies, man. Not in the false doctrine, the false narrative that's out here to please man. You know, the Lord ain't about pleasing man. It's about man pleasing the Lord, and in particular, the elect. You know, the Israelites, the elect of the Israelites, pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and the Lord is a very merciful power. All right. You know, and he said, you, 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 you knock, he will answer. So you have to be persuaded to even pray. You know, you have to be persuaded to have this belief and to know, you know, brothers that's are in the work, the faithful, hopeful elect, they know that the Lord exists. You know, they know that the Lord exists and he's there and that the Lord does everything. Uh, over the weekend, the brother quoted the scripture that stuck with me. You know, maybe I, uh, Try to do something on that. Uh, where he's, uh, the scripture where it says, "Not one uh, pharaoh, uh, you know, basically one hair on your head, you know, could be moved except if the Lord done it." And I'm roughly paraphrasing that, but that's the, you know that's so powerful because that just proves that the Lord does everything. You know, he, like if you even um, you know scrape, you know, you fall. The Lord made you fall. You know, you cut your hand when you was cooking a knife or such a thing, you know, then the Lord done that, you know, if somebody, um, car coming and you happen to get right out of the way because some idiot driving crazy, the Lord helped you, you know, just like the Lord can also hurt you too, you know, so that's why the, the, the most high is, is greatly to be feared, you know, and this is something we all have to practice and constantly keep in mind because, you know, the Lord will destroy you, man, and we don't want to be destroyed. You know, not like the wicked. We just pray that the Lord have mercy. So you have to be persuaded, you know, to believe. Not everybody has that, that, that belief to know that the Lord is there. Some people are shaky in their faith. You know, they're shaky um, and to actually believe it because they need tangible evidence. They need to see something in order to believe. And hey, the Lord, he don't have to show you anything, you know. Hey, to believe in the Lord, we didn't have to see a so-called UFO, you know? We didn't have to see one of the Lord's chariots to so-called believe. You know, the Lord brought us in his truth by believing truly in his spirit, his word, what was being said by the prophet. You know, and you stood before or you saw him on your phone, you know, in the uni unicorn, and you know, which is the internet of things, and you saw these men speak, you know, you, you, um, you instantly believe you didn't have to see a chariot, but the chariots are a booster to boost your faith you know when you do see one in live in person you know if that don't lift your faith then what what will you know what will <clears throat> you know then and then understanding your walk knowing um what, what what you've been through what hardships you've been through you know knowing um your ups and your downs you got to keep in mind keep in mind those things because that is you know truly the lord's experience that he placed upon you, you know? You don't want to forget the hard times you went through and then the Lord delivered you. You don't want to forget that. You want to praise the Lord and be thankful because that right there is giving you the knowing that he, is, he exists. You know, the Lord, you could be down and out and then the Lord come through for you and then you praise the Lord, but then over time you forget all about that. You know, you be like, you, you done forgot all about that the Lord done came through and helped you, you know, in a certain situation. And now you like, man, yo, I don't know. Like, now nah, it can't be like that. You got to remember those things to, to uh, keep the faith in your strong, uh, like what the scriptures say, having a, uh, a, 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 a full insurance of faith. Come on, what are you doing? Um, having a full insurance of faith. You know, what when we go through things and the Lord is purifying us and, you know, he's, um, you know, either judging us, well, you know, because of what we've done in our past or this life for our sins, or the Lord is just, you know, putting us through hell because he felt like it, you know, or, it's, you know, to purify us, to make us go a certain way, you know, all that is, um, is the full, is to keep the full insurance of faith, you know, can't forget, man, you know, because while you're in this truth and you get into the routine of things, everything get routine, you know, it's kind of like in this truth, you want to, you know, you, you'd rather be on the edge, you know, not comfortable, you know, because not comfortable keeps you ready. 
when you're comfortable, mm -hmm. you're not ready. You're lacking, you know? So I hope this lesson was edifying uh, to the whole four elect. Mm -hmm. I'll say it again. Uh, didn't have a lesson. Didn't have the scriptures queued up. But, you know, off the apostles, that's what the apostles and elders are for. You know, and other brothers, all of us together as a body of Yahweh Shai, put out mm -hmm. lessons to motivate brothers and to do shows. We all are part of each other in, in some sort of way, you know, because we're teaching Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that I do understand, which is the body of the Lord, because this is all about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and it's about our faith and being saved. So accompany yourself around salvation, and you should be more in the uh, Holy Spirit, you know. But if you're doing things that don't accompany salvation, which is really things you desire in the flesh that pleases you, you know, you can't be. <laughs> then you're wondering why when it's time to do a show, you, you ain't really got nothing to talk about. You know, you ain't really got, uh, uh, you know, it's hard for you to kind of do a lesson, you know, and, you know, and, and certain brothers, you know what I mean? Because we all be battled sometimes. You know, you're doing this and then you're not doing, you know, you, you're doing the works, but you got your mind into this. And then when you go doing the works, you got to, you know, not saying all the time, but you got to, you know, uh, pray, you know, to the Lord, which we always got to pray. But it'd be, excuse me, it's a little tougher. But when you are accompanying yourself 24-7, you know, your conversations, you know, whoever you with, you know, or you watching the videos, you know, it's a lot easier. You know, and to me, that just proves, you know, that if you accompany yourself around salvation, things that pertain to salvation, you know, things that pertain to the scriptures, always filtering things and and uh, putting the Lord first, then you, it's no problem because you're persuaded, you know, in your own mind that this is the truth. You have to be. You should know that this is the truth. There shouldn't be no doubt there because Esau exists. This damn devil is at work. And if it's so much wickedness going on outside that if you can't see the Lord through all of this, then you're not of the Lord, man. Straight up. There's no fucking way that you shouldn't have faith, man. If you can't see the Lord through all of this wickedness, it's so much wickedness is making it easier to believe in the Lord. Let me say that again. There's so much wickedness on, going on out here that it's making it more easier to just believe in the Lord, man. To believe in Yahweh Bashem Shai and the Lord Yahweh Bashem Shai is doing that because he's what waking up his elect. You know, every elect come waking up within his time. You know, within this period, his season. You know, and they get woken up to the truth and they get sealed, and then on to the next, and then to the last one. When we sealed, the scriptures say, you know, then that destruction, the winds come blowing upon this place, which is the thermonuclear fire. You know, so. You know, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's before elect. Shalom.